Hey guys, welcome to another all new review right here on ToyWorldOrder.com starring me, Duvall, and my buddy Puppet Duvall! Ah! We are back, gang, with our last figure in the Marvel ah, Legends and, and the Marvel Legends Spider Man Hobgoblin Build a Figure. Ah. Now, we've looked at all six of these amazing, amazing figures from this wave of Marvel Legends. Uh, and now, finally, we're going to take a look at none other than the Build a Figure that all those pieces come to, which is none other than the very cool all new version of Hobgoblin. Uh, now, this is one of those figures that. Um, I know uh, the other guy and I talked about that. Uh, he bought them all because he, he bought this way because he wanted all the figures and not necessarily really a fan of the Build-A-Figure. Uh, whereas others are really, really excited about the Build-A-Figure and not really excited about some of the other figures in the wave. But um, this is one of those waves that uh, will be really hard to find that's going to sell out uh, either because all the figures... I saw them today, Toys R Us. You did, you did, and they're probably For gone. For the second time. They're probably gone again already. Mm -hmm. uh, but these, uh, the, the Build-A-Figure here... They is, have a bunch of the Avengers ones. Yes, they do. Uh, the Build-A-Figure here is really, really well done. Uh, just the look of this Hobgoblin, 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 I couldn't say it. I know, right? Let's put his little, let's put his little pumpkin bomb in his other hand here. How about that one fell off and roll onto the floor at all? There we go. Uh, let's take a look, a closer look, if you will. Uh, <laughs> yes, of the Build-A-Figure Hobgoblin from the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Build-A-Figure wave. Let's check him out. All right, Hobgoblin. What are, you, what are you doing? You're like crowding me over here. Fair enough. Oh no, there it goes. Yeah. <laughs> the Hobgoblin figure here, the Builder figure, is is probably. I mean, it's a little smaller than uh, than I'm used to with Builder figures. Uh, I mean, yeah. Jubilee, well, Jubilee, Jubilee was tiny, I guess. No. Yeah. This is the same Rocket Raccoon yeah, and the Hit Monkey. Yeah, Hit Monkey was super tiny. Uh, but the the Hobgoblin, this new version and of Hobgoblin. Puck. Yeah, his, Puck, was Puck was very small. Uh, this new version of Hobgoblin is pretty cool. Let me take his sword out of his hand here. I'm trying. Not, co not cooperating. Not. Trying it there. Uh, this this new version of Hobgoblin, which uh, again I've not kept up on the comics, so I'm not sure who this new version of Hobgoblin it's, uh, is. It's not it's not the girl, and it's not the other girl. It's it's some different girl. Fair enough. No, uh, look, it's not the girl who really loves the Hobgoblin. Gotcha. And it's not, it's not Mackendale the mercenary, because he became Dino Goblin and then he died. Gotcha. So it's some new third cow who's new. Gotcha. Okay? Okay, I understand. And he was working for the Green Goblin by the end of the whole superior Spider-Man storyline. Gotcha. I gotcha. I understand. Mm -hmm. uh, now the figure here, the, the actual... Uh, the details on this figure, of course, as a build a figure, you have to put the legs, the arms, the body, the head, and the wings on. And the wings actually you kinda have to put on before the arms because this piece here <laughs> you would think that, but, yes. but some people stubborn people would prove you wrong. Fair enough. I'm guessing the other guy did not do it that he way. He did not do it that way at all. No, and I bet you he got frustrated too, right? <laughs> no? Oh, it's, it's supposed to be like a backpack. Fair enough. But the wings are actually a backpack that connect much like the... Uh, have a post. Yep, there is a post that connects into the little peg there. Um, I love the back of his backpack actually has a hilt for the hilt for this sword. That's the same thing. I think it is the same thing, actually. I think you're I, right. Maybe I am wrong, but that actually is removable. It does pop out of there. It's just a little peg that pops, uh, just pops in there. I think um, it's a butterfly. Fair enough. I don't think it's a butterfly. No, uh, like a butterfly rubbin thing. Oh, okay. Well, that could be too. The, wing, the wings here are really, really, uh, really well done. Uh, there's... You, read one, you read one comic book and suddenly you're not allowed to read the rest of the series. Yeah. Uh, the wings actually have a very leathery look and there's uh, there's little creases and tears kind of in, in the designs of the wings. You can really see it on the front here. Like uh, the wings. Yeah, the wings are kind of funky. They don't... I there's, don't like them. there's no articulation to them, so they're just they're stuck they, out like they this. They have a tape and a glider. Yeah, which is kind of, kind of yeah. crappy, but the wings are, you know, something new. The face sculpt here is pretty uh, pretty marvelous in that... Oh, the, yeah, the hood is a separate piece, which is very hard to get on this head and, and get to stay on. Uh, but there, with the hood on, there really is no head movement. Uh, the figure's head is on a ball you, joint. You can, but it'll pop off. Yeah, it'll pop off, and it's kind of if it, it doesn't set correctly on the head, it's very uh, very difficult to get it on, on there and stay on there. So we're not gonna mess with the head a whole lot. 
Um, but you've got the you've got the rocker joint here, and the, the, you've got the you've got the ab crunch there, which is uh, ratcheted, which is really nice. Um, so you've got that great details of like, of course, this like we said is a separate backpack, and then these buckles here are actually uh, actually sculpted on. I'm gonna get my finger to work right. These bu buckles here are actually sculpted on, which is kind of cool. Just scratch all the puns off of the No, nose. it's fine. Um, you know, at the waist, he's got this huge belt. And the, the side pouches here, which are kind of cool, and he's almost got like this oh, chain... Oh, those are pouches! Yeah, those are pouches. I thought it was a skirt. No, those are pouches. He's got this chainmail protection on his butt and his crotch. Well, that's a skirt. Yeah, that is a skirt, actually. Uh, his shoulders here, of course, those are those are ratchet joints that ratchet up and... Uh, so powerful, but what's so powerful? I know, they sound like, like my knees. The I know. Um, he's got the... He's got the, the upper bicep swivel there. He's got the upper bicep cut. He's got the double jointed elbows there. So we all can, right. all right. Mm -hmm. uh, just like the other ones, he's, his hands here are uh, are posable. So you can move his hands around there. or can move them in and out like that. And you get down to his legs and his hips. These these pouches actually do move a little bit. So with with the, the hip, you can move them out. So they don't really impede that articulation a whole lot. They do, but not really. They are kind of a pliable, softer plastic. So they do, they do move as well as the front and back. So you can you can move his legs out, but you can't really necessarily move them up and down that well. That does impede them a little bit. <laughs> he's got the he's got a swivel cut up at the top of his leg there. He's got the double jointed knees there. Uh, no cut at the shin there. No That's cut or no. Yeah. Uh, but his feet, of course, do have the the ratchet there that they can the ratchet joint they can move up and down and then uh -huh. of course they've got that that rocker cut the, the rocker swivel there they can move in and out the rockers. Um, i love the boots the boots have these great buckles that really stick out the back there so you've got these great design silver buckles and then like the the actual the boot part that they strap onto sticks out uh that's kind of a, a neat boot. little design element so um, and then of course he comes with das boot mm, das boot let's put him here oh god oh god he doesn't stand very well. There we go. Nope. I'll put him aside. He also comes with a couple weapons, like we said, uh, Daredevil's package with an arm and one of the uh, his pumpkin bomb there. And the, you can't really see if the pumpkin bomb has a lot of nice details. Uh, some some lines there that kind Thank of. Uh, root for it. We would not lie to yes, you. Yes, yes. Yes, we would not. Uh, but some great details on the pumpkin bomb there, and it is uh, translucent plastic, so it does kind of glow, which is cool. And then the actual the sword that he comes with. Um, sword. The sword um, is translucent. It's 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 actually uh, it's it's translucent plastic, and it's uh, it's cast in uh, three different colors here, which is kind of cool. So you've got you've got a yellow, you've got an orange, and then you've got a red as the tips get up here. So you've got a few different colors uh, to recreate the flame sword, which is kind of cool. And then the hilt itself is really well detailed and nicely designed. You've got the handle here, but right at the hilt. There actually are little pumpkins carved into the hilt right there. Uh -huh. so, yep, there's a little pumpkin there, and then the the weird little uh, uh, the dynamic uh, kind of guards the there. Dynamic. Dynamic guards. I was looking for a word. I couldn't figure out what it was. Uh -huh. But uh, of course, Hobby here can can hold his sword in his left hand. So the sword can no, be held. The, south the sword can be held in his left hand, and then his right hand, of course, is posed open, uh, so he can actually hold his pumpkin bomb like uh -huh. so. So you can pose him with this pumpkin bomb, which is kind of cool. Uh, I know. Now, the, the, uh, some of the other details on this figure are like the, the actual costume, and especially the hood. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, crosshatch design to make it look like it's it's um, almost like a um, oh, a burlap material, uh -huh. which is cool. Which is a really really nice little uh, nice little add. And the build of figures are always usually nine times out of ten are actually better. Uh, detailed and designed than some of their actual packaged counterparts which is yeah. which is kind of funny but then again it's a build a figure they can spend a little bit more money on the pieces and parts so that's kind of cool yeah. well there you go guys there's a look at the build a figure hobgoblin for the marvel legends ultimate marvel said ultimate spider-man the marvel oh, legends ultimate. the marvel legends spider-man wave which of course features the build a figure hobgoblin now as we said these figures are hitting retail now you should be able to find them pretty easily for Boom. the time being Boom. Um, until they stop showing up and then they're going to be really hard to find because people are really going to go after a lot of these figures. Um, a lot of these figures are, are much needed. Spider-Woman, the Spider-Girl is really nice. Spider-Man 2099 is a great figure. Daredevil, I mean all the figures in this wave are really good. And while uh, the other guy doesn't like Hobgoblin that much, Hobgoblin's actually a pretty well done figure. And, and well, a he doesn't like this design of Hobgoblin, am I right? I don't know. Okay. 
Uh, I don't believe I'm the last of his Yoda's friend! That's true, I probably should. I call him. This will be all of Star Wars! Bleh. I'm so lonely! Bleh. Now you're just being mean. Bleh. Gang, we'll be back with an all new review here real soon, right here on ToyWorldOrder.com, so stay tuned till then. Check out YouTube.com, of course, if you're not watching this on YouTube.com. Check out YouTube.com slash ToyWorldOrder and hit subscribe. I Mash have a dog! Mash the like button, like all of our videos. Uh, check us out on Facebook, facebook.com, Toy World Order. You can find the website page, as well as facebook.com, Toy World Order fans. You can find our fan group, which is one of the best toy groups on Facebook today. Join. It's family-friendly, lots of great talk, and lots of great people. So, so make sure you check that out. So, gang, until next time, take care, guys. We'll see you real soon. You're so mean to him. Can't wait to tell him how mean you are. He's going to kill you. Mm-hmm.